for instance, how did the custom of two people shaking hands come? How did the handshake come to be? The handshake, uh, as you know... I don't, that's why I'm asking. The handshake is, is also stemmed from fear. You know, everything seems to stem from fear. Well, of course. Everything we do is based on fear. Even love? Uh, mainly love. How can love, be, be, how can love stem from fear? What do you need a woman for? You know what you need her for? What? In my time? Yes. To see if an animal is behind you. <laughs> you can't see her alone. You got no eyes in the back of your head. You take two eyes. Happens to be a lady. I see. You say, lady, will you look behind me for a while? <laughs> that was the first... That was the main The first marriages was, will you take a look behind me? No. Okay. How long you want? Forever. We're married. I see. And you walk back to back for the rest of your life? Yes. You only look at her once in a while. When you knew you were safe. When you knew you are on high ground. Let's get back to the, the handshake, sir. It started how? Uh, through it fear. started with, uh, to see if a fella had a rock or a dagger in his hand. <laughs> you grab his hand. Hi there, Charlie. <laughs> it wasn't for How you doing, Bertram? It was for... You know, you held the hand. Suspicious. You held that hand. It was yeah. You looked and you opened it up. <laughs> then you shook it a little. And that's the way the handshake started. You had a shake. It may have a stone. How did dancing? A stone, a marble, it could stick it in your eye. <laughs> how did a shake his hand? What else did they do? He could hold a rubber band there. He could give you a smack in the nose. Well, how, did, how did dancing start? Dancing is the same thing. Fear again. You see fear. The only thing you could do with a hand is to see if there was a rock or a marble or a rubber band or a nail or something yes. that could stick in your head. Right? Yes. Right? Okay. <laughs> but... You're only immobilizing one hand. Right. Dancing is the complete immobilization. <laughs> Both hands. Both hands. And you keep the feet busy so it can't kick you. And that's how they <laughs> <answer. laughs> <laughs> Who's hiding you? I think most people are interested in living a long and fruitful life as yes. you have. You mentioned... Fruit is good, too. You mentioned fruit. <laughs> yeah. Fruit kept me going for 140 years once when I was, I was on a very strict diet. <laughs> Mainly nectarines. I love that fruit. It's a half a peach, half a plum, but it's a hell of a fruit. I love it. Not too cold, not too hot, you know, just nice. What has been Even your... a rotten one is good. <laughs> That's how much I love them. I'd rather eat a rotten nectarine than a fine plum. What do you think of that? I can understand that. Yes, that's how much I love them. Yes, I can understand that. Yes, yes. Sir? Some good things. Sir, what did you do for a living? Well, many years ago, thousands of years ago, there was no heavy industry. We know that. The most uh, things that we manufactured or we made, the most things that we ever made was uh, we would make, uh, take a piece of wood, see, and rub it, and, and rub it, and, and rub it, and rub it, then clean it, and look at it, and hit earth with it. Ah, wow! And hit a tree with it. For what purpose? Just to keep busy. There was nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing to do. We had no jobs, don't you? What see? other jobs were there? <laughs> there must have been something else beside hitting a tree with a no, piece of that, stick. That, well, hitting a tree with a piece of stick was already a good job. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't get that job, you know. What job? Mainly was sitting and looking in the sky was a big job, and another job was watching each other was one thing. <laughs> what uh, language did you speak at that? Time? They spoke. Uh, Rock, basic rock. Basic rock. Yeah. That was before Hebrew. Yeah, it was, it was 200 years before Hebrew. It was the rock language or rock talk. Could you give us an example yes. of that? Uh, hey, uh, put that, don't throw that rock at me. You put that rock. <laughs> Do you remember? Do you remember your Hebrew, sir? Yes, I. I, Would you, uh, I think I remember it fluently. Because I understand the modern Hebrew is different from the. Uh, yes, it case. differs in some of the phonetic alliterations and patterns. Yes. Well, yes. Can, can we hear an example of the ancient Hebrew? Uh, the very ancient Hebrew is. Uh, oh, hi there. Hello. <laughs> Hello there. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? That's English. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, Do you remember any Hebrew? Very little, I think. <laughs> I don't think I remember it. I must have forgot a great deal of it. <laughs> I think you forgot it all, sir. Maybe all, yes. Maybe all. Yes. 
thousands of years since I needed it. In, <laughs> now, Not sir, it. did you ever did you ever have any formal job as we know it today? Yeah, well, I was a manufacturer. I was an owner. <laughs> what kind of a factory did you have? I had a, uh, I used to make the Star of David, the Jewish stars. I was one of the first makers oh, of yes, that. Oh, yes, the little soon thing you were as said, a... Uh, yeah, as soon as religion came in, I was one of the first in that. And, uh, I figured this is a good thing. Yes, and how did you make them? Did you have tools? Well, we didn't have a lathe. I employed six men. See, each with a point. <laughs> they used to run together in the middle of the factory. Great speech that would fuse. <laughs> and it would make, making a star. Yes, we would make two a day because of the many accidents. <laughs> you have six men running at high oh. speed. Boy, you know it. <laughs> Plenty of accidents. You never thought of going into anything else? No, I had an offer once. What was the fella came to me, Simon. What did Simon ask you to do? He said, if you have a new thing, a new item, a winner, it looks like a winning item that is going to be a big seller, it's called a cross. <laughs> and uh, I looked at it, and I turned it over, and I looked on all sides of it, and I said, uh, it's simple. It's too simple. I didn't know then it was eloquent. <laughs> You mean you, no, I you, didn't know it would be such a turned, hit. You turned him down. And I said, I'm sorry, but I'm too busy. Uh, see, I could, have, I could have fired four men. Two men run together, bang, you got a cross. <laughs> I couldn't say, I would, well, I I would have had over $100 today. I went in crosses, but they're in everywhere. Yes, certainly. Do you have a few moments, sir? You are, what do you need, money or the time? No, we have to cut away for a message now. Okay, let's do it. Is it in English? Yes. Oh. 